What's up, guys, and welcome to Red Out 2. It is just throwing us right into the action. Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, that's that's a boost. All right. Um, going to want to hit those, but also don't want to hit the walls. Oh, we can strafe? All right, so we've got turning and then strafing is going to help our turning. Oh, right, we got some damage happening. I can see I can see things cracking on the corners of the screens. So let's try to stay in between the lines, Trev. We've got boost on boost on boost. I can hardly even see what is happening. I mean, I love I love the straight. The straight makes things kind of a little bit easy overheating because we're going too fast. This might be one of the most ridiculous racing games I have ever played. Hyper boost? <laughs> to think that was just the intro. What's up, guys? And welcome to Red Out 2. This is a brand new racing game that just dropped, and I uh, figured we had to check it out. We love racing games here on this channel, but uh, this one's a bit different. This is not where the rubber meets the road. This is where we're racing futuristic cover ships at breakneck speeds and, you know, kind of bending the rules of gravity. So, yeah, the game just dropped. I did get a little bit of early access from Saber Interactive, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video and hooking that up. It looks pretty insane, so we're going to hop into the career here in a second. I think there's over 250 different events in career mode, which is crazy. Of course, you've got multiplayer. That's going to get insane at these, you know, speeds and playing with friends and things like that. And I mean, you can see we've just got so many different futuristic locations and tracks. I think there's up to 72 tracks in total. So it's a beefy game. There's a lot to do. And it looks like we've, we're have we going to be starting off with Rookie Academy. Welcome to Vertex, a limitless cyberspace where we'll teach you the basics of Red Out League. This is what really kind of sets this game apart. Now, Red Out's been around for a while. It's, you know, I've, I've definitely seen it and played it before. I'm not going to pretend like I'm some sort of a, you know, old school Red Out player. But uh, you've, you've got the strafing and the steering that we already saw, but you've also got pitching and rolling and all kinds of things. So there's just, there's a very high scale kill ceiling with a game like this this is the tutorial mode look how fast we're going and of course on top of all of that we're gonna add boosts and hyper boosts to the mix so all of this just kind of adds up to i a lot you know it's it's a very high skill ceiling i feel like it's something that you can you know kind of casually have fun with it's an arcade racer but at the same time if you want to get good at it and you really want to focus and and you know sweat this is a racing game that has a higher skill ceiling than than most boost and pitch up. What in the, oh, we can go farther. Oh my goodness, dude. Got the Essa AGR. It's all about balance, a true jack of all trades. And I believe- After saving humanity with space travel and terraforming research. We have graduated. USA created what people Our will story. really remember them for. Anti-grav magnets. This is where everything started. And this beauty is the mother of all red out ships. So basically there's a bunch of different chassis. I think there's like 10, 12 chassis or something like that. And then you can, you can customize them on top of that. So you can build them out the way you want them to look and to perform. So um, yeah, a lot of customization here, just a lot going on. To be honest, it, it is a very in-depth crazy thing. We've got a promotion contest. Two laps against three opponents. Our ship is out of the power range. It looks like we need to be a 208 power range. So we're going to be able to upgrade our propulsor. And that's going to bring us up into 208. All right. Breathe in. Japan? Listen to the water. The flowing wind. The sound of leaves. This is Fuji. Wow. On the terrestrial island once known as Japan. A pearl of calm and spirituality, close to a volcano. Wide tracks and soft slopes flow gently on this reborn land. I mean, it looks beautiful. I like that we've got real world locations, but obviously it's far in the future, so things have changed. We've kind of got a bit of a story happening here. Here we go, baby. Mount Fuji in the background. It's time to get it going. Let's go. Get a boost right off the start. Get a nice... A nice lead to start things off, but it is all about being smooth here. You got to keep your speed up, but you also just, you want to, you want to stay up the walls. You got to make sure you're not overheating. I like that we've got these, the, the road signs to be able to tell us what's coming up next. Almost like a, like a, a rally game. We've got like a co-pilot that's letting us know, right? Six over crest. 
letting us know what to expect. Everything's coming at us so fast, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Here we go, use a little bit more speed. I believe we've got a, sh yeah, let's, let's go for it. Straight coming up here, we've got our hyper boosts. <laughs> Dude, it's over 700 miles an hour. Pull back a little bit on this. We're gonna go to the right and back. Okay, yeah, not, not bad there. It's gotta keep it consistent. Looks like this is gonna be a slight left and a slight right, so we can just use our little lean feature. I like that we have different, oh! First just blew by us right there. All right, we're gonna have to step this up. Hyper boost, here we go. Hyper boost and boost at the same time. Pull up, pull up. Gotta catch back up to first, dude. I was sleeping at the wheel. I was talking to y'all and I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, I was paying attention. Dude, this game is just so fast. It is so hard to see what's going on. Everything is happening so quickly. Stop bouncing off the walls. We're pinballing here, Trev. We're pinballing here. We're in third place. Trev, we, we gotta improve on this a little bit, but we're gonna have to clean this second lap up. One lap to go. Use a little hyper boost. Back at a first. Yeah. Watch the overheating. Do this. We're all right here. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't don't get dude. If 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 we start getting too aggressive and we just keep going into the walls, that's gonna be worse. You gotta keep it chill. You gotta keep it chill. Keep it chill, baby. We're good. Find that that long straight, and then we're gonna be able to use our, our hyper boost again. We're fine. I think up over this thing, let our engine cool down a little bit. All right, here we go. Hyper boost. Use our main boost a little bit. Oh my God, I just wrecked right into him. There's just so much happening so quickly. Everything is coming at you. You know how they say like life comes at you fast? This game comes at you so quickly. It's fun, but it's, it's it, it feels almost impossible. Obviously, we just gotta, gotta put a little work in, gotta practice a little bit, but my goodness. We gotta get out a fourth place here and there's not there's not a whole lot of time there's third right there we're close but i think this is the final corner dude we were st okay we got p4 in our first race that's not a good sign yeah dude this game is insane I mean, we we're struggling in trials there's b league a league s league and the srrl invitational Obviously, your boys got a little bit of work to do there. I was looking through the arcade, so we were just on Rainbow Forest here. You guys can see each map has different characteristics to it. So this one is on Earth. So it's Earth-like gravity. You've got normal atmosphere. You've got normal temperatures. But as you go around to different locations, like Cairo here is going to be hotter. So you're going to warm up quicker. You're not going to be able to use as much boost. You've also got low gravity situations, very hot dense atmosphere and cold like it it gets insane there's even some with no gravity lunar city canes flats newman's outpost i'm gonna go lunar city and let's just see what's go i, I want to see what a no gravity race is gonna look like i i don't even know what to say this game's tough i'm really gonna the have genesis to genesis lunar city still the worst place to live in the solar system but now with a great red out racetrack. Racing through the Home hood, the huh? Society. The passion for freedom is written in its DNA, visible in the damage from the many wars fought here. It offers a very technical track inside the dome and a super fast zero G outside. Ah, uh, okay. Perfectly expressing the complexity of this unique city. So we're in like a gravity dome that's around the city, so we're gonna behave fairly normally in there, but we're gonna go outside of the bubble and have zero, zero grab. Dude, this game is crazy. I, I can appreciate that it's got a little bit of story and things behind it too. Obviously we're here for the racing, but uh, I like that that we get some backstory and there's, there's you know, kind of some character behind it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what is this? Got a pitch up? Basically, you gotta fly a little bit. If you get that perfect landing, you get a, a bit of a speed boost. Let's use our hyper boost here. Dude, it, the, I think the biggest thing that takes some getting used to is kind of the, the momentum shift. Yo, oh, we missed. It's just that there's no traction, you know what I mean? Like, look how, look how loose we are through here. So like, your entry point into a corner, that's pretty much that. It's gonna be hard to, to really change too much direction. So 
I feel like it's one of those things where if you really know the track, you're gonna be at a massive advantage there. One of those games where the more you play it, the more you see it, the better you get. You can just kind of periodically increase your times and skills. And again, it's just, it's got a ridiculously high skill ceiling. So over time, you see and feel yourself getting better and better. Look at that new PB, because it's our first one, but give ourselves a pat in the back and now we are racing in a, a a space station that's been destroyed that's right next to a black hole so we've got extreme gravity thin air and uh i believe it it might be it might be pretty hot as well so let's let's oh my gosh dude some of these locations there's a black hole off to our right no no big deal oh my god how you want me to be able to direct that thing back onto the track what we are racing right next to a dude this this game knows no bounds i don't even think we have walls next to the track right there so this obviously this is this is getting up into the the high skilled players and it's something that i probably shouldn't even be be on right now but we're we're just gonna we're just gonna ship it this game is is just such a vibe well, i'm flying into space um Okay, yeah, we, we crashed there. Yeah, we're not, not supposed to be up there. Got to stay on the, the road here. Otherwise, we're going to end up just shooting off into a very slow and painful death. But yeah, the game... I mean, you've, you've just got... no oh, Decent landing. With the music and the, the vibes and the everything. Decent landing. All right, let's just keep going. Just try to stick to the track. You can't get too much speed. So these, you're not running into a wall with too much speed. You're literally flying off the track. I can't even imagine how good somebody who's actually, you know, good at this game. Like how insane some of the laps they would put together. This is, dude, unbelievable. Hyper boost. Here we go. No clue what's coming at me, but I'm coming for it. Just casually avoiding asteroids and all other flying fauna out here. Trying not to fly off the side of the truck. Oh my god, dude, this game is just... Again, it's one of those things, like, you'd, you'd have to... If you wanted to be good, you'd have to memorize this track and just kind of always know what to expect next. This game is ridiculous. This this is legitimately the craziest racing game I've ever played. Thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, you boys got some, some work to do. I think we need to get back in some of these tutorials and, and just kind of keep working on our craft. But, uh, man, this... This game is insane. Like, my heart is beating. I got some sweaty palms happening. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks to Saber for the early access. Hooking it up, sponsoring this video. Really appreciate you guys. And if you guys want to check the game out, feel free. Again, it's it's live pretty much everywhere. Epic Games, Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series SX. Coming to Switch soon. So, if you guys are looking for something a little bit different, something pretty intense, might be worth picking up. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.